Again, welcome back to Paper Plus. This lecture covers the operations with algebraic expressions. So our main objective, we are going to learn how to add, subtract, divide, and also multiply polynomials uh, expressions. For example, we have the term monomial. Monomial means we have an expression with only one term. Poly, poly means many, so polynomials means many terms. So example, three X or two X is monomial. But if I have two X plus Y, then again, it's a binomial. Then if I have two S plus three X plus S, Y, et cetera, if the terms are three, we say trinomial or polynomial. So example given here, if I have three S plus two X, here we are doing addition of two items here. First, we have to look if they are like terms. Yes, this is a like term, X and X. So we combine it. So it will be three X plus two X then the answer will be five X. Why five X? Because the units are the same. So they are like terms. Next one, we have nine X Y minus three X Y. Now we can see the first term is S Y, the second term S Y. So they are like terms. So again, we combine. Only the addition and subtraction we combine the like terms. So the answer will be nine x y minus three x y. That is nine minus three six x y. So let's see this example. So this is a multiplication now. Now, if you have a multiplication, you multiply all the term by itself uh, by all the terms. So for example, in this case I'm going to multiply eight x y cube times 2x cubed y times negative 3xy squared. So only the addition subtraction, we combine the like terms. Multiplication division, it, we do our regular operations. So here we have 8 times 2 times negative 3. They are all the same terms, so we multiply all together. Then next we use x, s times s cubed times x which is here, S times S cube times X. Then our last term is Y. So it will be Y cube times Y times Y squared. Then we can solve the problem. So A times two times negative three will give us negative 48. Then X times S cube times X. So we have exponent one plus one plus three. So it will be S to the power fifth. Then y also the exponent is three, one, and two. So it will be six. Now let's look at the B, which is division. So division also use the same concept as multiplication. We're just going to divide the like terms together. If so negative 15 divided by three will give me negative five. S squared divided by S will give me X. Y cubed divided by Y to the power fifth will give me Y to the power negative two since five is bigger than two. Now we know the rules of exponent. If the same term, the base is the same term and they are dividing, we subtract the denominator exponent from the numerator exponent. So this will be the solution. Negative five by three, S squared by X, Y cubed by Y fifth. So we get negative five. Then X squared is two minus one, we give us X times, 3 minus 5 will give us negative 2. By the reciprocal, we give us 1 over y squared, changing the exponent 2 to positive value. We take the reciprocal of the value. So next, we have an example how to do the product of two polynomials. We have 3s plus 4xy plus 3y, and also x minus 2y. And we rearrange it. So first, I'm going to take S to multiply everything. Then I'll take negative 2Y to multiply everything also. So we get 3S square. S stands for S, Y will give me 4X square Y. And the last one will be 3 times X, Y. Then we take negative 2Y to multiply the three terms also. So negative 2Y multiplied by 3S will give us negative 6Y. Then negative 2y times 4, 
it will give us negative 8 8x y square or 8y square x. Then negative 2 times positive 3y will give us negative 6. So we have negative 6y squared. Then y times y is y squared. Now we can combine the like terms. So we have 3x squared, 4x squared y, plus 3 minus 6 will give me minus 3xy, then minus 8xy squared, and 6y squared. Now, because the multiplications we must perform often involving binomials, we have the following special products that is good to remember. So for example, if I have S plus A times S plus B, it's the same as writing X squared plus A plus B, X plus A, B. And if we have A, X times plus B times C, S plus D, it's the same as writing A, C, X. Then A, C, S, then we have A, D plus B, C. So B, C and A, D outside. Then plus B, D. So let's try some example. Multiply the following. We have binomial. So here we can just multiply the terms one at a time. And that's what we're trying to do. First, we want to use what we call the four, F, O, I, and L. So we multiply the first item. So we have, again, S times X gives us the first item. So S times S is S square. Outside means we multiply 3 by X. So you can see S is outside, 3 is outside. So we get 3X. Then we take negative 4 times X. That will be inside. So we have negative 4X. Then we have negative 4 times positive 3, which will give me negative 12. Then we can combine some few terms, 3s plus minus 4x, that will give us minus x. So our final answer will be s squared minus s minus 12. Plus times negative will give me negative, so minus 12. The next one, also the same thing, we can use the 4, 3s times 2x. Then we also have, again, 3s times 5. Then in we do the inner. So we have 3s times 2x will give me 6s squared. Then we have 3s times 5 will give me 15x. Then again, we do the rest. Uh, 2 times 2s will give me 4x. Then 2 times 5 also will give me 10. Then we look if we can combine the like term. We have 15s plus 4s. So that will give us, again, 19x. So the final answer will be 6s squared plus 19x plus 10. Now, these are some of the additional special product also. For example, if I have a plus x all squared. Now, here there's a difference. Uh, let's go back to our first special. You see here, if we say a x plus a times x plus another a, then it will be perfect square, which will be x squared plus 2ab plus b squared. But here, remember the x plus a, then s plus b. So a and b are not the same value. But now what we are doing here, if we are assuming they are the same value, so we should know the difference between the two. So here, a plus x or s plus a squared, it means s plus a times s plus a. So in this case, if you try to multiply everything, you will get x squared plus 2ax plus a squared. Now, if you have minus, only the two section will change. So it will be x squared minus 2ax plus a squared. Then this is called the difference of two squared s plus a times s minus a is the same as s squared minus a squared, difference of two squares. Then we also have the binomial cube. So if I have s plus a or cube, it's the same as saying, again, s cubed plus 3ax squared plus 3a square x plus a cube. 
Then the next same thing with a minus, uh, sorry, x minus a cube. X minus a cube means we have s cube, but instead of plus, you change to minus. Then we have three a x squared plus three a square x minus s cube. So let's see some problem here. First, we have three times square root of three plus four x squared times square root of y minus five uh, square root of three minus 11 x square root of y minus square root of three minus four times again square root of y. So let's see our first problem. You can see that we are combining the like terms again. 3 plus 4 minus 5 minus 11 and minus 1. So we combine the like terms. And this is what you have 3 minus 5 minus 1. And everything a cube root. Plus 4 minus 11 plus 1. Everything is S Y squared. We are using the root. I mean the square root of 3. From the question, we can see we have square root of 3, square root of y, square root of 3. So 3 and 5, and I keep one of the roots. They are the same, square root of 3. So that's what we are doing here. Then the second term, we saw this also. We have, again, let's look at the question one more. You can see that we have term of uh, square root of y, another term. Uh, we have x, y, uh, again, 11x and y. And also here we have the whole thing, constant value. So we're trying to arrange them, 3 minus 5 minus 1, the constant value times square root of, uh, square root of 3. Now, the unit for x, square root of y, which is right here. Sorry. 11x square root of y, we have another 1x square root of y, we have 4x square root of y. So that is those terms, 11 minus 1 plus 11, 1. I mean, 11 minus, uh, 4 minus 11 plus 1. 4 minus 11 plus 1. Because we can see we have x square root of y is minus 11 plus 4 x square root of y, then here also we have, here become plus because minus minus, so that's why we have plus one. Then we can combine now. So three minus five minus one, give me minus three. Four minus 11 plus one, give me minus six. And when we reach here, we can't do anything no more because we have two different terms. Uh, we have square root of three and also square root of y, two different terms. Now, the second question, the same concept, we can open the parentheses by multiply a, a x to the power three by two times s to the power half. Then we also have s to the power three by two times x to the power negative half. So that's why we have s to the power three by two times s half minus s to the power three by two times s to the power negative half. Then we can combine the expressions, I mean the exponents. We can see this term are the same. We can do minus. Minus is when we, the light term together we join. But when we are doing addition, uh, multiplication and division, if the bits are the same, we can combine the exponent. So here, when we combine three by two and half, this is what we get x squared because it will be 4 by 2 and 4 uh, 3 2 plus half will give me 4 over 2 and 4 over 2 is 2 now 3 by 2 and negative half will give me 1 so the final answer will be x squared minus x again we are combining negative x 3 to the power 3 by 2 to the power three by two. X and X, so we combine the exponent. So we get three by two plus negative half, which will give me three by two minus half. 
and the answer will be one. So that is the next here. And if we reach here, we finish. This is the final solution. Or we can take S out, factorize it by taking X, and the answer will be X times S minus one. So this is another example again. Here we can do the perfect square if we want. That's what we have here. So first we take the first term, we square it. S half square minus two times X half and x one third the two terms so we have two x to the power half times s to the power one third because we're using a perfect square perfect square means let's say a minus b or square will give me a square minus two a b plus b square so here we're supposed to get the first term is s to the power half so we get s to the power half or square and that's it times uh, minus because it's minus two times the two terms here, which will be s half and x one third. Then plus x one third here, all square. So again, that is the rule. Now we can try to multiply the expressions. Here we get one, half times two is one. And here we get five, six. So two x to the power five, six. And the next one give us again, two ten. Another example we have, again, this will be plus and minus. So this is difference of two squares. So what will happen, we can square square root of x and then we square two. So that difference of two squares. And these formulas, we know we need to know them. As we saw example here, uh, it helps us to solve our problem very quick. So here I'm using the difference of two squares x plus a times s minus a. It will give me s squared minus a squared. So you should know all this. So we saw this already, and this is where we are now. So now we have to solve this problem. Here we are learning the division. Division is a little bit tricky, but it's very straightforward. So we have 4s cubed plus 4s squared plus 5 divided by 2x squared plus 1. So I'm going to write a 2x squared plus 1 and then 4s cubed plus 4s squared plus, plus 5. But we put 0s here, so the term will increase in constant. So what we normally do is that we are going to take 2x squared, the first term, and multiply by the first term also inside the square root and uh, the root. Okay. I'm saying the root, the division sign. Sorry, that's the division sign. So we have again 4s cubed divided by 2s squared. Uh, so 4s cubed divided by 2s squared will give me 2x. Then we multiply the 2s by 2s squared, and that should give me the 4s cubed. Then we subtract. So the down become negatives. If it's negative, it become positive. So here we have negative for a cube and positive for a cube. So that will cancel each other. Then we write down the next term for a square minus 2x plus 5. Then we are going to take our first term for a square divide by 2a square again. And that gives us 2. And it's plus plus, so it will be positive 2. Then we are going to use the 2 to multiply 2s squared plus 1. So we get 4s cubed. And then we get, uh, sorry, we are going to multiply. So when we have this term here, we multiply 2 by 4. So that will give us 4s squared. And this section is what we have in our face. So 2 times 2s squared will give me 4s squared. And then I'll write the remaining down, uh, 2 times 1. And then again, we get, so we get 4s squared uh, minus 2. Why minus 2? Because as we said, the sign will change for the minus section. So we have this already. This is what we have here, 4s squared minus 2s plus 5. So 2 times 2s squared will give me 4s squared. Then we have 1 also will give me two, then we get 
Um, so this will be minus again. Then we cancel. So four x square, we cancel four x square. Our final session will be minus two x plus three. So this is minus. And of course, there's a minus here. This is zero. Then we're going to use this value and we look if we can be able. No, we cannot because now we have two x. Here is two x squared. So here we stop the division. This means our final answer will be 2x plus 2, remainder minus 2x plus 3. And that's what they are saying here. So since minus 2x plus 3 is less than the degree of 2x squared, because it's 2 here, we stop. So our final answer will be 2x plus 2, which is right here. And the remainder, we can say, okay, minus 2x plus 3 divided by 2x squared plus 1, which is same as saying remainder. 2s squared plus 1, minus 2s squared plus 3, sorry. Remainder minus 2x plus 3. So that will be the conclusion of this lectures. Now, the division is very, very carefully. Uh, maybe we can go through one more time. Uh, since now I have this term here, so I'm going to divide 4x cubed plus 4x squared plus 0x plus 5 by 2x squared plus 1. The first thing we do, we take the first term, 2x squared here. So we are going to divide 4x cubed by 2x squared. And that gives us 2x. Then we multiply 2x by 2x squared plus 1. And that gives us 4x cubed plus 2x. Then we subtract 4x cubed plus 2x from 4x cubed plus 4x squared plus 0x plus 5. So that means 4x four, four cubed and 2x down here, we change to minus. So 4x cubed will cancel. We bring the 4x squared down, and this is minus 2x now. So we bring it down, then plus 5. Then next step, again, I'm going to take 4x squared divided by 2x squared. And that gives us the 2. Then I'll multiply the 2 by the terms here. So 2 times 2s squared will give me 4s squared. 2 times 1 will give me 2. Then I'll subtract again. So 4s squared plus 2 will change to minus. And that means 4s squared will cancel 4s squared. Here we have minus 2. So we write down minus 2x. Then 5 minus 2 will give me positive 3. Now, since the degree of minus 2s plus 3 it's less than the division denominator 2s squared plus 1 would stop. So our final answer will be 2s plus 2, remainder minus 2x plus 3. Or we can say 2s plus 2 plus minus 2s plus 3 divided by the divisor 2s squared plus 1. So that will be the conclusion of this lectures. And again, thank you for your time.